So welcome back, everyone. We're live on Facebook. So hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to be sharing the show in just a little bit. Uh, I've got some newbies with me, so you know when the newbies are on, they get a little nervous, but that's okay. I like it. I have with me now Jennifer Adams, and she is Tempe's City Council member. Welcome to this show. Thank you, you know, girl. Thanks for having tell me. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself, you know, and what you're here for, because there's a couple of different things that you're here for. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, so I'm Jennifer Adams. I'm on council. I've been on uh, Tempe City Council since 2018, and I worked with the city for 30 years in three different departments, so I had a global understanding of the city. And I retired uh, August 2nd, and the August 3rd, I decided to run for Tempe City Council. Wow. And I uh, work on neighborhoods, improving neighborhoods in the decision-making processes, improving our traffic congestion, um, uh, increasing affordable housing, and also working with the homeless. That's cool. But you are here for a reason. I am. And I do want to talk about that real quickly. Just talk about what that those classes are, because then we're going to go into kind of what's going on. I, I guess I could do that first. So let me ask you this. Um, what has it done? Has the city done to help people with responding with this coronavirus? Yes. So we've had a very uh, fluid response. I'm very proud of our city staff and everything that they've put together for for this coronavirus response. So we've been working with the Center for Disease Control, following their directions, also the Arizona Department of Health, and uh, we we ended up closing um, our bars and restaurants for a period of time. We followed the governor's order. Yeah, we order. know. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we're back open again, and uh, and we're just working on uh, getting things together. We also closed our city's facilities and events, and when I say events, uh, a lot of people don't know that the city of Tempe Town Lake is the second largest event uh, tourism de destination in the state of Arizona, only second to the Grand Canyon. So we have a lot of events, so that was a really big decision to have to close those events for now. Sure, but I guess it was the right decision. It was. It was the right decision. Okay, so let me ask you something. How do people then stay safe when they go out? So we really encourage people to follow the CDC guidelines, and we want people to wear masks if they're out in public. Uh, we are really encouraging that. Of course, a six-foot distance between um, one another. We are right now. That's okay. right, we are. And they're washing their, their hands for uh, 20 seconds um, anytime they are out, and uh, just stay in that social distance is the most important thing right. that you can do. And being uh, a little bit proactive with everything that you're doing and thinking about things uh, before you just go out and do something. I want to talk about the classes because you have this thing called Tempe at Home and why it's so important. Tell everybody what that is. So Tempe at Home are, first of all, it's produced by the Community Services Department, which is a great department in the city. I spent 14 years there as an employee, so I'm a little bit biased towards community services. But they produce free videos, that's right, free videos. And uh, so people can go on and look at whatever classes they want. For example, there's a Zumba class on that you could go to, and I learned how to Zumba. And she goes nice and slow, which is what I Thank needed. Thank you. So yeah. it was, so Zumba's really a fun class. We have over 50 classes that are on. Um, so were they gonna go to that uh, website that we mentioned before? Yes. Okay, because I want people to write this down. These are free classes. Yes. Now they're done, are they done by through Zoom? Yes, they're okay. done through Zoom. Yes. So they do them right in their own home? Yes. And yes. what are some of the classes? Uh, so some of the classes are, uh, for example, paddleboarding at Tempe Town Lake. So you get to see Tempe Town Lake and learn how to get up on a paddleboard, which I was doing that all wrong all these years. So I learned how to do that. I wouldn't want to do that <laughs> once in that time. <laughs> we have water safety messages, as you know, uh, with the temperatures heating up. Uh, more little ones want to go towards the water, so we have water safety messages. We have uh, um, sidewalk painting classes. Oh, fun. Yes, as I've gone around the neighborhoods. I've seen a lot of sidewalks painted. I have uh, too. That's yes. awesome. I bet you they're learning from there. Now, go up on that website, which is tempegov.coronavirus. Yes, and then you can go to that that um, web, web page and then drop down to the Tempe at home you'll see that and then you can just go on the classes right there and they're free and so they're free you cannot <laughs> say that you're bored you cannot say that you can't there's nothing to do because there's always something to do you could go right up on that website it's tempegov.coronavirus and it's a free class and it's done by by zoom so there are little videos right there and there's tons of them and you know what she'd love to talk to you if you'd like to her number is 480 350 8835. Okay, let me ask you this. 
when as people are waiting and they're just sitting here and they're they're loving the classes, they're having a good time with it, but when is it going to open up? When do you think Tempe's going to open up? So we already have started to reopen. Uh, May 13th, the mayor did a proclamation and he opened up the skate parks, the tennis courts, disc golf, and pickleball courts. So we already have, that was uh, last week, last Wednesday, so we've already moved in that direction. Also our golf courses, our public golf courses have remained open the entire time. So Ken McDonald and Rolling Hills have remained open and they've nice. been super busy. Sure, so well, because they love people, people love to play golf. Exactly. They're not going to stop for that, you know. <laughs> exactly. Nothing's going to stop. Just to get outside and that's right. right. So, Absolutely. So a lot of golfers have uh, said their games have improved. So that's that's good news. Uh -huh. And also then uh, we're looking at June 15th to open up our city facilities and dog parks and other amenities for our residents. Oh, that's so good for to hear. That's yes. Right. People want to hear that. I'm so glad you're here today for this. And when we you and I talked. You and I, we didn't ever know about this. This wasn't something that came up. It was months ago that you and I spoke. Yes. And it's just so wonderful that you are here because, you know, the sense of knowing that things are going to be able to open up more and more and more, it's a good feeling for people. It really is. It gives people hope because people have been really cooped up and mental health has suffered as a result. And instead of just, you know, sitting around and just reading news all day or whatever you, you don't have to you can go up on their website <laughs> and right. you have something to do right there right in your home because they're little uh there's like little videos of different classes that are completely free go up on that website it's tempegov.coronavirus.com that's correct okay so you want to go up there uh, there are free classes you can also call her if you want to talk it's 480-350-8833 Three, five. So again, you have no you have no excuses anymore. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the homeless. Yes. So Tepe has experienced a large homeless population, and I worked very hard during my tenure as a council member with the homeless issues. And so we've partnered with East Valley Cities to provide more beds. In fact, we've been, um, increased 18 beds, which might not sound like a lot, but really it is because it's so difficult to get them. And we also uh, have partnered with the Salvation Army and they've increased their hours of operations so people can go there and stay cool. And Tempe Community Action Agency has done a lot to reach out to the homeless as, long as, as well as our HOPE team. Uh, the City of Tempe has a HOPE team that reaches out to the homeless. They provide water, uh, hygiene products, um, nutritional snacks. And I'm very excited to also um, talk about the shower program. Every Friday now, the homeless can have a shower at McClintock Pool and get their showers and get cleaned up. And that's been something that I've been working on for a long time. So I'm very excited wonderful. about that. Now, on the website, can they see some of the different things that you're talking about there, too? Maybe somebody wants to help in any way? Can yes, yes. And they can go to tempe.gov slash ending homelessness to help uh, with their homeless uh, situation. It would be wonderful if you could do that. Um, also, I wanted to talk about the businesses because, you know, us businesses, they got, this, especially the small ones, they got hurt pretty bad. Exactly, and I'm a huge uh, supporter of businesses. I was endorsed by the Chamber of Commerce for a reason. I just, uh, just, I mean, the businesses are our heart and soul of our neighborhoods along with our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So we need to have those small businesses. And so we have a really exciting program called um, the HOUND program, that's H-O-W-N-D. And it's a voucher program where you buy now from the local businesses and then you, you visit them later. So it gets them cash. Oh, and, what and a great idea. It, it is, so it gets them cash to you know bridge the gap. And we also um, are trying to drive up the sales, of course, of businesses. And the city actually paid $25,000 to um, fund the HOUND program so businesses don't have to pay for it. And we've already generated $1.5 million, Carol. Aw, uh, that's awesome. For, for helping our businesses. So we're really excited about well, it. Well, thank you for that. And the second thing we did for our businesses is a Tempe Small Business Loan Program, and we partnered with Desert Financial Credit Union. And so what we have is very low interest rates that they can get up to $20,000 if they have employees of 50 or less. And that also will help them um, stay afloat while we're in this time of change. Go up on the website. It's Tempe... Uh, dot, you know, it's tempegov.coronavirus.com. Also, you can call her. She'd love to talk to you if you're a business in need of help. I'm sure she would love to help you with that. 480-350-8835. The classes are wonderful. They're free, and you can do them right at home because they're just a little video right on Zoom. Go to tempegov.coronavirus.com.